We are honored to have with us legendary game designer Peter Molyneux right off the stage at the Galen Center, coming right yeah. over first to yeah. Spike. Peter, yeah. it is great to have you uh, back with us. Here. We've been meeting for many years, and now you're, you're finally doing a yeah. Connect game. You announced yes. Fable the Journey. Yes, Fable the Journey. Uh, indeed, it's um, you know it's been in production now for you know quite some time. We've been working on the Connect tech for almost two years, actually. Yeah. You know, with a variety of projects, and now what we've done is embrace Connect. I'm really thought about this one single thought, is how can you make a game which appeals to gamers like myself and yeah. yourself uh, with Kinect that is impossible with a controller? Well, and let's take a look here. Yeah. This is, Dimitri is here uh, playing the, uh, the demo, and uh, we saw a little bit in the press conference, see a little yeah. bit more now. So tell us about, I mean, the, the interactions here with Kinect, because, you know, yeah. you're a core game designer. Yeah. One of the first problems I have as a, as a core game player is how I move around the world, how right. I navigate around. So what we've chosen to do is your main mode of transport is you're driving this horse and carriage. Right. This horse and uh, caravan. There are many different roads, there are many different branches you can take off. You can see just around the corner here, there's a, a mine pit. You could, you know, take your horse down there. So it's sort of like, going, it's like a rail? I mean, it's, it's not open world, right? I mean, it, it's... It, it's open world as much as open world as a road is. You're, right, okay. you're traveling along these tracks and there's going to be lots of uh, branches. Uh -huh. you're, while you're traveling, you're going to be attacked. There's going to be things chasing you. You're going to be chasing things. A lot of the action takes place, mm -hmm. you know, around your, around your caravan. And it's a really cool control system. Right. You know, you're going to bond with your horse in ways that you may have... Just like your bond. pet in black and white, yeah. right? Yeah, there you but go. You can, get your you leash can, out, right? Yeah, you, you, you can get your guide leash your out. Guide your horse around. Brand yeah. your own horse, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, now, let me ask you about uh, people interaction, because, you know, when you talked about Project Milo, there was a lot about, you know, yes, a character. Yes. I mean, are we going to see a lot of other, you know, humans in here, and are you going to yes, talk to them, interact yes, with them? Yeah, absolutely. You are, one of the first thing that happens is, um, you don't really play a hero this time. You play yeah. a member of the Dweller tribe, and you stumble across this woman who's, um, running from something you don't know what. And that woman happens to be Teresa from the Spire. She's been in the last three fables. And she, you have to take her across the land. That's why it's called Fable the Journey. You just have to take her across the land. There's a lot of interaction with her, a lot of talking. There's a lot of uh, really interesting, I'm not going to spoil the stuff that we're doing with the Connect sensor there. You get married and so. connect. Put the ring on her finger, Peter. Yeah, you could, yeah, but that's good. You see, he yes, always turns into game designer. Yes, that's, so, I, you know, we have to swap places. I'm not interviewing you. Oh, come on. Now, that's it's a, it's a silly idea, but it's like, you know, the idea, I think a lot of the, the Fable fans wonder, it's like, mm. you know, this was an RPG, it got mm. more action. Now it mm. seems like it's a first-person, you know, experience. I mean, what is Fable? Yeah, it, it's true, what is Fable? We asked ourselves a lot of that. I mean, to me, Fable is this beautiful, engaging, humorous world, which is um, which surprises you all the time. And you can can see with the way that Dimitri is playing this now, the magic system really is like none other. I mean, I really like the thought... the old gestures in black and white? All, all the gestures and, you know, the sort of things we had in black and white. But just imagine having magic in your hands yeah. and being able to craft magic, being able to make things like spears and telescopes and all sorts of things. Really, we wanted to think of a way of giving you the power, you know, of, of pure magic in your hands. That's very exciting. And rings on your fingers. Okay, well, it's in there. That's yeah. an exclusive, Peter. 